It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to the Science Bowl. Two outstanding schools here today vying for the chance to go on and become the last of the final four in our elementary competition. Let's meet today's teams. First, from Kenilworth Elementary School, say hello to Jack Danks, Nicole Rotman, and Marcus Thomas. And from Scotchtown Hills Elementary, here they are, Simona Goitum, Ethan Lack, and Lun Mansan. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on the Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty. With the easier questions on the left, they're worth five and 10 points. The tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. End of the two rounds, we will have a potential final four school for our big finale. Let's go over and make sure everything is working properly. Let's go to the red team. Nicole, try your buzzer. Thank you. Good luck to you, Jack and Marcus. Ethan, try your buzzer. It too looks and sounds good. Good luck to you, to Lun, and to Simona. Are we ready? Let's do this thing. Congratulations on being chosen by your schools to be here. You're all elite students. We're going to have a great game. May the better team win. We go alphabetically K before S, so Kenilworth and Nicole, let's start the bowl, please. Zoo Parade for five. Zoo Parade for five points. Teams, there's a Geico commercial where there is a factory and everything is going wrong, and the boss comes in and says, who did that? And they all point to this animal that a lot of people, yes, Kenilworth. Gecko. Not a gecko, no. The boss says, who did this? And everybody says, that one did it. And they're pointing to what animal, an animal that is often invoked. You can't ring in twice. Scotts Cun Hills will have the opportunity. What animal is often invoked as the blame of something? A scapegoat. It's a goat on the other side. Go again, red. Nicole. Um. Zoo Parade for 10. Zoo Parade for 10 points. Teams, we know that bugs and birds and bats will pollinate plants. Even lizards will do it. But the biggest pollinator in the world is one of these primates that lives on the island of Madagascar. Kenilworth. Lemur. A lemur, yes. One of those large lemurs off, will pollinate some of the plants over there like the fig trees. All right? Red. Go. Let's get physical for five. Physical for five points. Teams, these large masses of condensed water droplets, according to one book, if they're around, say that maybe there's a chance of meatballs. Scotchtown Hills. It's cloudy. Pass it on to Simona. Simona? Cloudy. Cloudy, that's right. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. These large masses of water vapor. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs, one of my favorite books. Go green. Science potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points. Teams, this substance that behaves like a solid but is organized like a liquid was what Cinderella's slipper was made of. Glass. Scotch Hills. Glass. Yes, wait till I acknowledge it. Glass it is. Good. Go green. Science potpourri for ten. Potpourri for ten points. Teams, even though no Clorox, Clorox was involved, when a coral reef loses all of its algae and thus its color, we described it as being this. Scotch Town Hills. Bleached. Bleached. It is a bleached coral reef. Yes, sir. Good answer. Go, Ethan. 
Let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, the comet that the Rosetta spacecraft recently visited was discovered to have no atmosphere, no wind, and very little of this force. Nicole. Gravity. Yes, ma'am. Good answer. That's why they had those hooks to try to grab onto the surface. Unfortunately, it flipped so that its solar panels were away from the sun. Score 70 to 70. Advantage red. Body systems for 10. Body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, you know you have a bridge in your nose, and sometimes it can fall down, but not often. But there is another bridge-like structure in your foot that if it collapses will make you flat-footed. What bridge-like structure am I describing in your foot? Arch. Kenilworth. Arch. Arch. Good. Marcus, nice assist. Go red. Um, green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. Teams, because root pressure and capillary action are not strong enough to push water up this tallest of trees, it relies on fog to help it get some water. The tallest of the trees. Kenilworth. Redwood. Redwood. Redwood's good. You listen to all the clues. Go red. Um, green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. Teams, in flowering plants, reproduction takes place when pollen from the anthers fertilizes this plant part that sounds like a firearm. Nicole. Ovial. No, no. Good try. Scotch Sun Hills. Fertilization, reproduction in a flowering plant when pollen from the anther fertilizes this plant part that sounds like a firearm. Shoot. A what? The shoot. The shoot, that's a good try. The pistol, the pistol in the plant. Look out, the plant's got a gun. Go red. Zoo parade for 15. Zoo parade for 15 points. All right, teams, listen carefully. When these long-eared lagomorphs were imported to Australia, lagomorphs that are known for reproducing very quickly, they outcompeted all of the natural marsupial herb herbivores that lived in Australia. What animals did they import that reproduced like crazy? Scotch Town Hills. Pass it on to Simona. Simona. Koalas? Not koalas, no. Remember, they imported these animals. They didn't belong there. They're long-eared lagomorphs, best known for their high reproductive rate. Rabbits. Go again red. Body systems for five. Body systems for five. Body systems for five points. Teams, this will be the last question before our first break. Teams, in Greek mythology, Achilles was taken by his mother and dipped into the river Styx so that he would never be killed. But one part of his body was not touched by the water, Ethan. The ankle? More specifically. Not quite. Kenilworth, what part of Achilles' body was not bathed by the water of the river Styx, and that meant that he was vulnerable in that place. I pass it to Jack. Jack? Achilles tendon. Achilles tendon. We will accept that, yes, or the Achilles heel. Good. We'll be back with round two of Science Bowl in just a moment. Don't go away. Thank you for spending part of your day with us. We have 
Six outstanding young people here today in this quarterfinal matchup. We're almost at the end of the season and uh, the competition is getting keener and keener. Let's find out a little bit about our players here for the first time this year. Kenilworth Elementary, uh, Aden Bowie, always a great contender. Nicole, tell us about Kenilworth. Who's your principal? Mr. Henderson. Absolutely. He's out there rooting for you. And who's the sponsor of your team? Ms. Keller. And she put in a lot of time getting you guys ready here today. And I know you're not by yourself. You have some alternates on your team, don't you? Who are they? Emily. Emily. We'll bring Emily out with Ms. Keller in just a few moments uh, because this is a team effort. Everybody is important. And I always like to ask schools and captains, in particular Nicole, what do you like best about Kenilworth? Of all the great things that happened there, what do you like to brag about? Um, all the after school activities. Like what? Well, we have like a green team and we have um, band and. Yeah. Are you in the band? Yeah. Yeah, what do you play? I play the flute. The flute, yeah. And I know you're a busy young lady. You've got a lot of interest. What do you like to do in your spare time? Um, I'm a figure skater and I play volleyball. Wow. Are we going to see you in the Olympics one day as a figure skater? I hope so. I hope so too, yeah, because that's just, a, it's beautiful to see. Uh, and you'd like to be a veterinarian someday. Mm -hmm. You've got two dogs and a turtle, did you tell me? Yeah. yeah, what kind of dogs you have? I have a Wheaton Terrier and a Chihuahua. Wonderful. And uh, how long have you had them? Um, I don't know. It's been a while. It's They're part while. of the family now. Well, you're playing a nice game here today, and uh, you keep it up in the second half, all right? Marcus, tell us your story. What do you want to do someday? I want to be a director. Yeah, a director and even an actor, right? Yes. Yeah, be in Hollywood. So we're going to see Nicole at the Olympics. We're going to see you at the Oscars. And Jack is going to get a Nobel Prize. You know, we can say we knew you when. Marcus, when you were a kid, you were on TV and you, you really didn't want to be on TV, right? You were all kind of embarrassed. Your mom made you do it, right? Yes. Moms do that kind of thing. But, you know, here you are today on TV Thanks and you're doing a nice job. What do you do in your spare time? Well, I like, I like to draw and I like to play with action figures. Yeah, that's great. And Jack, nice to have you here today. You seem real excited to be on TV today. Tell me what you do in your spare time. I sometimes I play with my Legos. I make up stories for them most most of the time. Though I actually do stuff like bike outside. Yeah. And I was given I was giving him the business earlier too because he says he sometimes wears his helmet. Of course, you should always wear your helmet, Jack. And you saw the Lego movie and you liked it and you make up stories and you know you're kind of like Marcus he wants to be a script writer storytelling is a real talent you know if you can tell stories you're gonna have a good time in life because people always need people to tell them the news to tell them the stories and what do you want to do professionally someday Jack I would like to be a chemist or be, be part of an astrophysicist astrophys group yeah, maybe you can work for NASA someday we could see you there nice to have you here Scotchtown Hills nice to have you back this team won their first two games, and they're here for their third appearance. And Ethan, tell us about Scotch on Hills. You're up there in Laurel, Maryland, and who's your principal? Um, Ms. Prevost. Again, please? Ms. Prevost. Ms. Prevost, and the, you have two sponsors, right? Mm -hmm. Two Jennifers. Who are they? Ms. Doris and Ms. Taylor. Ms. Doris and Ms. Taylor, and they've been always such great supporters of Science Bowl. And thank you, Jennifers, too, for being here. And we'll bring them out in just a few moments. And you had two alternates, didn't you? Who are they? Uh, Dre and Colin. Wonderful. Uh, you play soccer, Ethan. You love to play soccer. You'd like to be a professional soccer player. Yep. Do you play for an organized team now? Yes. What's the name of the team? Um, Laurel Wildcats. That's wonderful. And if you're not playing soccer, what are you doing? Oh, I, I like to spend time with my family. That's wonderful. And uh, uh, you want to have a restaurant someday, yes? Mm -hmm. uh, French, Vietnamese cuisine. Mm -hmm. Something tells me you'd be a very good business person. Mm -hmm. I can see you running a restaurant. Uh, do you cook now? No, not really. No. Maybe you can just be the, the business side of the restaurant, right? That's something you can hire the cooks. Good to have you back. Tell me about Scotch Sun Hills. We heard that the Kenilworth has lots of after school activities. What do you like about your school? Teachers. The Good teachers, thing. yeah. Do you have a favorite teacher? Mm hmm Who would that be? Mr. Sarage. That's wonderful. And what makes a teacher a special teacher? He's kind and and he, he explains everything really well to me. That's wonderful, yeah, because a teacher has to really be slow sometimes because everybody comprehends it at a different rate. Thanks for sharing that, Ethan. And Lynn, nice to have you back again. Tell us your story. What do you want to do someday? I want to be a doctor. Yeah. How'd you get interested in medicine? I don't know. It just gives out a lot of salary. 
<laughs> you want to make the money. There's nothing wrong with that. That's part of the American dream. And what do you do in your spare time? I like to do arts and crafts and gymnastics and dancing. That's wonderful. Some dancing as well. That's great. And Simona, how do you know so much science? Because you do. Um, I watch science ball videos and Miss Doris and Miss Taylor, they're always like That's showing cool. us about like stuff on the internet. Well, you and definitely this. prepared well. You did your homework before you came here today. What do you want to do someday? I want to be an archaeologist. Yeah. Now, before you wanted to be a judge, right? Yeah. And, and now you want to get in there. And, and she told me earlier, when you go to museums, you're not allowed to touch anything. But archaeologists, they get to touch the stuff, don't they? Yeah. And then put it on display so other people can't touch it because you want to preserve it. Let's get back to our game. Nice to have you back. Scotch Sun Hills at 70, Kenilworth 95. Lots of high valued questions left. Start us out, Nicole. Um, green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, it was just in the news. If you're allergic to these legumes, the advice now is eat a little bit of them. Nicole. Pass it to Jack. Jack. Glucktose. What is it? Glucktose. No, no. Scotch Town Hills, what legumes that a lot of people are allergic to, according to the news, now you should actually eat a few of them. Wheat? Peanuts. Peanuts. It was on the news last night. Go red. Let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Teams, a lot of the chicken farms in Maryland along the Chesapeake Bay are dumping into the bay along with fertilizer from lawns. This chemical with the chemical symbol P that is contributing to the pollution of Chesapeake Bay. What chemical element has the symbol P? That's phosphorus. Try again red. Super aid for 20. So you prayed for 20 points. All right, teams, talking, talking about archaeology, paleontologists recently found the fossil of an extinct giant rat that used these two front teeth like an elephant used its tusks. What are those two front teeth called, Nicole? Excisors. Let's say it again. Excisors. Incisors. Incisors. Thank you. Thank you, Marcus, for correcting her. Good. Go red. Green things for 20. Read things for 20 points. All right, teams. In photosynthesis, plants use light to produce carbohydrates, sugars. But if photosynthesis takes place in bacteria, what is produced is these kinds of acids that are used to make proteins. What kind of acids are assembled to make proteins, Kenilworth? Anemols. Say it again. Anemo acids. Anemo acids. Jack, what is she trying to say? Anemo acids. No, not quite. Not quite. Judges, are we correct in that? Scotchtown Hills, what kind of acids are assembled to make proteins? The correct answer is amino, A-M-I-N-O, not anemo. Go red. I was trying to say. Um, body systems for 15. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, if you're suffering from a herniated disc, little bits of cartilage are popping out between what bones in your body? What are the bones where the discs are found, Nicole? Spine. Backbone. Backbone. Absolutely right. The vertebrae. Good answer. All right. Go red. Come on. Body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, Ursa Major and Ursa Minor are constellations. Keep in mind, this is the body systems category. Pectoralis Major and Pectoralis Minor are these kinds of body parts. They're muscles. The pectoral muscles are here on the front in the chest. Try again, red. Science potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, recently the Powerball lottery was worth $500 million. We didn't win. That's why we're here. They said that the chances of winning the $500 million Powerball were about the same as you being born with a condition known as polydactyly, which means you would have at least 11 what's if you had that. Toes. Nicole, Toes. Uh, yes, please. Toes. Digits. Toes or fingers, absolutely right. Polydactyly, many digits. Thank you, Jack. You helped out on that one. Good, go. Nicole, 135 to 7, 145 to 7. Come on, Ethan and Luan and Simone, you've got to get back in this game. Go, Nicole. Let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. All right, teams. The resin that comes out of a tree is usually transparent. That means the light can go right through it, or translucent, that lets some light go through. But it is never this condition that doesn't let any light go through, Ethan. Opaque. Opaque, that's it, good. Re go green. Um, science potpourri for 20. 
Potpourri for 20 Points Team's Play-Doh was originally developed to wipe off coal dust from wallpaper because people used to heat their homes with coal. Now we don't use coal anymore to heat our homes, so there's no more dust. What kind of hydrocarbon do we use now to heat our homes? Kenilworth? Gas. Gas. Gas, yes, natural gas. Thank you, Marcus. Go red. Dateline signs for five. Dateline signs for five points. Teams, not as famous as Snoopy yet. One of these dogs named Miss P recently won the Westminster Dog Show. Beagle. Kenilworth? Beagle. A beagle, yes, red. Watch that. Come on, Scotchtown, you should be on that one. Go. Dateline signs for 10. Dateline signs for 10 points, teams. Last week, over Pittsburgh, a meteorite went streaking by. They figured out that it originated in what belt between the planets Mars and Jupiter, Ethan? Asteroid belt. Asteroid belt, that's it, go green. Dateline signs for 25. Dateline signs for 25 points is a visual question. Look at the monitor, please. This black and white print shows in the center the Philosopher's Stone. Some of you may remember that from the Harry Potter series. Isaac Newton also was looking for the Philosopher's Stone because it would help people that practice what A initial kind of fake science to turn metals into gold. Alchemy. Nicole. Alchemy. 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 Alchemy, yes. Make sure you listen to what they're saying before you blurt it out, all right? That is the correct answer. 25 points go red. Dateline signs for 15. Dateline for 15 points, teams. 50 years ago, a man called Alfred Wegener came up with a theory that continents moved. He came up with continental drift. Today, we don't call it continental drift. We call it these kinds of tectonics. Scotchtown Hills. Tectonic plates. Tectonic plates, absolutely right. Good, go green. Dateline signs for 20. Dateline for 20 points. Teams, apparently we can now eat as many eggs as we want one, and not have to worry about heart disease because now, after 40 years, the government says we don't have to worry so much about this C-initial fatty substance in the foods that we eat. Kenilworth? What do you want to tell me? Cartilage. Not cartilage, good try. What is this fatty substance found in foods like eggs that we were warned against for 40 years and now the government says it's not so bad after all? Calories. Cholesterol, cholesterol. Try again, green. Five questions left. Science potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25, the question is as follows. Children born without fingers or fingers that were lost in accidents can now get artificial hands made by 3D printers. What P initial term describes any kind of artificial part, like a hand, that you can put on your body? P initial, now make sure you're going to say it right. Kenilworth. Prosthetic. Prosthetic. That's it. Nicely done, Nicole. Good. Thank you, Jack. Go red. Uh, zoo parade for 25. Zoo parade for 25 points. Visual question. Look at the monitor, please. If you know anything about crabs, this is the last larval stage in a crab's life cycle. It is known as megalops. Megalops. That is a perfect name because it means what? What does megalops mean? Look at the picture. Come on, Kenilworth, you can do it. It loses its shell? No, no, it means something specific. Megalops. Scotchtown Hills. Mega means big, ops means eyes. Big eyes. Go red. Um, body systems for 25. Body systems for 25. Body for 25 points, teams. If you suffer, suffer from sickle cell anemia, you suffer, it is called sickle cell because this H initial pigment in red blood cells that carries oxygen is shaped like a sickle. What is that H initial pigment found in the red blood cells? That would be hemoglobin. Try again, Nicole. Green things for 25. Green things for 25 points, teams. Photosynthesis is when plants make food. But the opposite, our initial process, is when they burn up the food that they make. What is that our initial opposite process to photosynthesis called? That would be respiration. Last question of the game. Let's get physical for 25 points. Teams, your question is as follows. Taylor Swift was even singing a few weeks ago about Mercury's retrograde orbit. That meant that Mercury was doing what? Nicole. Slowing down. Not slowing down. Good try. 
Mercury's retrograde orbit. What was Mercury doing, Ethan? Speeding up. It was going backwards, backwards in its orbit. Our game is over. We'll be back with a wrap up in just a moment. It looks like Kenilworth is going on. How far would you go to help someone? Would you go to the end of your driveway? Would you cross a street? Would you cross an ocean? Would you go if you could use your knowledge to teach someone? And in the process, maybe learn something yourself. Life is calling. How far will you go? Peace Corps. Welcome back to Science Ball. Hope you enjoyed this game at home. Hope you played along today. Our final tally is Scotchtown Hills 115, Kenilworth 220. Congratulations to Jack and Nicole and Marcus. You guys can smile now and relax a little bit. Emily, you can smile too. Miss Keller, thank you. We'll see you in the next round. And Simona, let's see some smiles over there from you and Ethan and Luan. Nice to have you here this whole year. You were great champions. Let's give them a nice round of applause, Scotchtown Hills. And DeAndre and Colin, thanks for being part of this team. You guys did a great job here. And our two Jennifers, Taylor and Doris, you always send us great teams. Thanks for being here. Thank you for joining us on Science Bowl. We'll see you next time. Bye now.